Okay, so in this video, I will show you how to create this uh, plastic bottle ocean or sea animation in Cinema 4D. It turns out that it's very, very easy. It's even easier than uh, becoming famous on TikTok. So for my bottle, I will use this uh, content browser to search for these built-in uh, objects in Cinema 4D and I will use this plastic water bo bottle here. Uh, double click this so that it uh, opens up. And now uh, you can use uh, whatever you want, but I'm going to use this. So I will delete this liquid because I don't need it. I want these bottles to be empty. And I will actually create a redshift material here because it's a little different than the default material. And I will delete this one and I will also, no, I will replace this with this so that when I go in here and change this transmission to something else, um, there is a difference in this redshift viewport. Let me just create a sky fast so I can see something more. Let me just go in here and change this and bring this sky down a bit. Let me just uh, make it uh, rotate it so it just turns somewhere here. And this one is going to be facing this direction so that uh, it looks like a sunset, really. So now this bottle is ready. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and click this connect objects plus delete because this will make this bottle uh, one object and so there's, there are no problems uh, uh, later on. So now for the ocean I'm going to create a plane and I will add this displacer to it. Display, sir. No, display, sir. Yeah, this one. And I will go in this shading. I will add a noise, which is going to displace this. I will increase the segments so it's uh, more, uh, the, so the re resolution is bigger, higher, not bigger. And in this noise, I will increase the size of this noise, and I will give this animation speed one so that now if you play the animation you can see that it's moving and I think I want this to be even higher something like this yeah so next if you want these bottles to be on the surface of this um, water this ocean all you have to do is create a cloner and put this bottle in a cloner and now in this cloner you have to select object and drag this plane in here. And as you can see, these bottles already are on the surface of this, uh, uh, these bottles are on the surface of this water. And now uh, I wanna change this to multi-instance because it's uh, easier on the processor and on, on, the, on your computer. So, and now you can just increase the count of these uh, bottles here to the amount that you want. And now you can already see that this is somewhat looking like an ocean. And if you disable this plane in the render mode, you will see only these bottles here. So now one problem is that these bottles are kind of overlapping each other. They are placed uh, on each other and there's nothing happening. And that's obviously not something that would happen in real life. So now to fix that, I will add this rigid body tag to the cloner, which is going to make all of these bottles follow the rules of physics, if you will. And now if I press play now, you can see that they all fall down. And if you don't want them to fall down, if you want them to follow the position of this, uh, this plane here, this animation, you have to go in this uh, dynamics tag, in the force tab, and uh, increase this follow position to something like uh, six. And now these bottles, the physics are still gonna work on them, but they are gonna try to stay in the same original place, which is this and they're just gonna try to follow the position of that. And if you increase this even more, you can see that it, uh, they follow this position even more. It's almost that they, they don't even fall down uh, just one bit. So here, uh, this is a way to fix the overlapping of these bottles. And now if you, in if you would increase the amount of these uh, bottles here, uh, you would see that, uh, actually, let me, let me do that. I will increase this to 
800 for example and of course uh, depending on your computer this is going to be a little bit slower uh, and now here's something crazy going on with some of these bottles let me just um, disable this so I can see only them let me just disable this work plane grid if you go in this follow rotation setting and you increase this also you will see that they not only they try to stay in the same position but they all uh, they uh, also try to keep the same rotation that was in the beginning which is this horizontal kind of laying down and that's uh, it gives I, I found that it gives a better result and if you have uh, X particles you can create this XP ocean object which is just a better just a better looking ocean and you can uh, place this ocean object in this plane in this cloner and these bottles will be they will be cloned not on this original plane that I created but on this one it's just uh, it just looks a little better the animation is more natural here and now if you play the you can just disable this and the, the same thing uh, goes on in here and now if I increase the amount of these bottles it's gonna slow down my computer a bit but you can just get a better result and if you spend more time on these settings lights and so on you can get better and more interesting results so did you like this did you hate this or did you love this as you know hate is love so it's impossible to feel bad after watching this video so leave a comment if you have something to say leave a comment if you want to share your results i will look at them and maybe i will learn something myself